This is the story of two young guys, bound in friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be alternative. You're a lost cause. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls. But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet. It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. Uh, I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? <sighs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Okay, okay. I just hope you don't miss something while playing. All I'm asking is that you take a look inside that green satchel. I'll take care of it, as long as you leave us alone after. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, uh, no. It's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. See you soon. I sense trouble. That must be the van of the moving company. I absolutely have to find a way to get in there before they finish and leave. 
The Murrays are really very nice people. When we were children, Ronald and I often played with Cooper, but after the divorce, he went to live with his mother, one of the countless houses of the Wayne family. Mr. Wayne is not often seen here in the city. He never stops by to talk with anyone. That house has been for sale for years, but nobody has ever seen the owners. Nor is it clear if the mysterious Mr. Richards even really exists. I must say that he has the softest fur. Nothing soft about you stepping on my back. Hi, Bear. What's new? Nothing, since I'm forced to stare at the sink. Hope I'll be luckier in the new house. Do you want me to give you your happy pills? How many times do I have to tell you that I don't need them? Besides, I have my duck. She makes me feel good. You have to understand the bear is convinced he's married to the duck. How do you feel about this move? I hope I don't end up in a bathroom in front of another dripping sink, or I'll go completely crazy. You better find a way to get out of this house and into that van. What are you waiting for? Did you see Ronald? If you mean naked, yes. Every single day. And it's not a pretty sight. Come on, Bear. You know very well what I meant. Early this morning. Usual time. He was a little down in the dumps. I mean, more than ever. But nothing particularly suspicious. Have you had any other hallucinations since the last time? Luckily not, Mr. Hunter. Bear, I'm skinny. I'm just messing with you. You're the little wuss without a backbone. I would argue that claim. Now I have to go, Bear. I guess so. Don't ask any questions, believe me. Let's just say I'm not exactly interested in the item. 201 times is more than enough. Even at his age, Ronald can't really get enough of squeezing this thing. I can't imagine what the bear would do to Ronald if he still had his spine. I'd give him a nice tattoo on his back for starters. I don't want any trouble. Wise decision. I wouldn't try. The bear gets jealous easily. I'm watching you. Bones off. Don't you dare violate my lady. Plums! Ah! tu brute! The psych meds of Cousin Jason. Come to think of it, we've suddenly lost track of him. I've been through so many troubles, but luckily I still have my sanity. Too bad the same doesn't apply to the person I'm talking to. I don't know what's more disgusting, this or the hair removal strips of Ronald's mother. What am I supposed to shave? Besides, this isn't exactly the height of hygiene. I'd rather steer clear from that. I'm okay, but thanks for worrying about the well-being of my intestines. Skinny, you don't even have intestines. That's not true, I'm simply constipated. Is there anybody down there? I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Count yourself lucky. You've probably already figured out I'm not exactly an ace. In my defense, you have to admit that it's not easy to throw without real joints. You're embarrassing. That's it. What happened to my wardrobe? I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know. A disaster I made with some apricot marmalade years ago. I never understood how Ronald's parents could think it was Sigmund Freud's face. Phallic symbols everywhere, right Sig? Do you think this is the right moment to play games? I suggest you avoid careless moves, if you value your skin. I already lost mine a while ago. I know where this is going. With this trick, we lost four relatives and eight of the cat's nine lives. That critter won't get closer to the living room, even under torture. 
I think you need a permit to carry something like that. Better not open channels of dialogue with this kind of person. Ronald's father has never been a green thumb kind of man, but you should see the level of dedication he has for them. Ronald's mother is very satisfied too. She says they give a nice scent to the whole place. Sure. I'm already conspicuous enough for my skeletal appearance. Just imagine a drug put... I mean, an herbalist skeleton. You'd like it. It's a sort of big ball of dust. And who the hell are you? Have some respect, stupid bony human. You're looking at the future conqueror of the world. <laughs> Only dumb characters in this game. Don't laugh, that goes for you too. Jumping Jiminy. Not me. I can't jump. I have no legs. And my name's not Jiminy. I meant, where did you come from? From under the hardwood floor. I was stuck there for years. But now I'm finally free and will have my revenge. <laughs> Who do you want to take revenge on? The world. I have nobody to take revenge on in particular, so I will take my vengeance out on the world. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Listen, not to curb your enthusiasm, but you look pretty harmless to me. What? I mean, you don't look blessed with any particular abilities, or of great intellect, or any intellect. You can't expect to get very far without a well-constructed plan. Ah, you're right. Think about it, okay? Who would be your nemesis? The Swiffer? I don't know any Swiffer. Forget it. I have to go. Bye. I still remember the day I didn't notice her, but she saw me. Fortunately, she mistook me for Ronald. She fattened him up for the next three months. Now, I finally have the courage to tell you. A while back, I skipped dinner. Please, Grandma, don't look at me that way. Stop glaring at me, all judgy-eyed. Okay, you win. I'll go and get a sandwich right now. As they always say, you never know what might come in handy. I don't have many parts of my body left, but I still have my teeth. Thanks. This contains the ashes of Grandma. May she rest in peace. I confess I've always been curious. An ending so unexpected. Ah, uh, um, just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometimes be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another belated circumstance where you show your negligence. But thanks for the tip. Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go, it's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. What a blow. This timed parking thing has turned into a real scourge. My whip is still parked in the wardrobe. I guess it's the control unit of the neighborhood traffic light system. I find it curious that it's down here. I'd have imagined it on a pole or something like that. I won't deny that idea could be funny, but I don't think the people on the street would appreciate the humor. Uh, hi. Hi, little bag of bones. Please don't eat me. As skinny as you are, you wouldn't even be useful for chicken stock. Hey, excuse me if I care about my figure. You don't look too good. 
How are you? I have an unbearable pain in my tooth. Mm, something must be stuck in it. Would you like to take a look at it? Oh, fine. Th that's okay. Uh. There's something in there indeed, but I don't think I can remove it with my bare hands. I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? Actually, I just escaped from a maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a fishbone. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. I promise I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with you, stupid bag of bones. You're not funny at all. See you around. Ah. Uh. If by any chance you're asking me to drink it, well, don't count on it. I have water in my hand. And now I have the first stage of rheumatism. Let's move on and accept it's just part of the scenery. The T-Rex Cowboy. Undisputed ruler of the very Wild West until the end of the Cretaceous period. It would have been interesting to ask him how he managed to extract his revolver from the holster. And this is why we complain about youth unemployment. Nice place you have here. Were you and Tutankhamun relatives? No, it's because I see a strong resemblance. Maybe it's the nose. I could have sworn it, you know that? Were you in two... No, it... I could have sw... Did you have an accident with the cat? You must have really driven it mad to need all those bandages. I got it. You're a Tibetan monk under a vow of silence. Damn it, I was sure I was right this time. Were you one of the Queen's guards? You won't confirm or deny it, I understand. Has anyone ever told you you're really good at listening? Seriously, don't be so modest. I would stay and chat with you for hours, but I wouldn't presume to impose upon your time. Cock-a-doodle, don't! You'll never know what I hide under my inventory. Never. It seems to me that it's done its job all too well until now. It's hard, the life in a cage, right? Cheers! That's where that door led, and for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. He seems to be a bit short on energy. Hi, little robot. C1 is not programmed to talk. But you just did it. C1 is not programmed to explain itself. What if I took out your batteries? Would you still be in the mood to show such attitude? C1 is programmed to run on solar energy. Don't provoke me, or I'll hit you with a hammer. You're looking worse for wear. C1 isn't tired. C1 is running data. Why don't you turn tail in the meantime? If those two catch you, you'll end up in a box, you know that? C1 is not programmed to do it. Are you telling me you can't do two things at the same time? C1 hasn't got the updated firmware. Right, everybody says that. Beep, beep, bzz, bzz. C1 finds this really insulting. C1 has had it up to his valves with you. Come on, don't be so salty. Don't forget we applied for a Peggy 3 rating. Be careful what you say. What about the three laws of robotics? C1 thinks you've seen too many sci-fi movies. C1 could easily pierce your skull with a laser beam and use it as a bowling ball if he wanted to. I'll keep that in mind. 
Thanks for the clarification. Good luck with your calculations. As unbelievable as this sounds, Ronald's father bought it years ago in anticipation of his own funeral. He found it on sale at a mortuary fair. He won't be happy at all when he finds out those morons have damaged it. I've been brought back to life. Deal with it. A little souvenir from Easter Island. We had some trouble at customs, but it was worth it. These Moai are so vain and used to cameras nowadays, they've started posing with duck face. Woe is us. Legend has it that when Ronald's father is able to pull it out from the floor, it'll finally be him wearing the pants in the family. Actually, it would be useless anyway, but he doesn't know that. Nobody can get it out, as it seems to be stuck in the plumbing of the town's water supply. The mayor has even declared it a criminal offense just to attempt to force it out. That blade is so blunt that Ronald's mother can't even cut the bread for sandwiches with it. The trophy of a fishing trip. An unequal contest won with firecrackers and nail guns. Undoubtedly, this is the manliest thing Ronald's father has ever done. I'm sure if he could talk, there'd be a whole lot of swearing. Are you familiar with Superman and Kryptonite? Right, that's nothing compared to my allergic anaphylactic shock. This is a request you'll have to put forward to my lawyer. I've done more than enough with the plums, thank you. We've got nothing to say. Our relationship soured several years ago. Surely someone could give a good cleaning around here once in a while. He was gunned down by a barrage of point-blank peas, and they say vegetables are good for your health. I'm cold, John. Teddy, it's Skinny. Hold on, my friend. John, where are you, John? I can't see you, John. I'm here, mate. It's Skinny. It's all dark in here, John. <laughs> Please don't die, Teddy. Keep holding on. It'll be okay. Teddy? Teddy, answer me! No! Teddy! Anyway, it's skinny. How did this get in here? Mm, I never tasted anything so delicious. Kaboom cereal, an explosion of energy in your stomach. Literally. I stopped eating it. I find it a bit heavy. It's fine where it is. Calling them post-its is an understatement. They're more like threatening messages that Ronald's mother leaves for her husband when she goes to work. Like, I don't know, let's see. No, this is too degrading, better avoid. With this one, I think there might be grounds to sue. Okay, that's readable. Don't forget to pick up the clothes at the cleaners or you'll be the one hung out to dry. That's amore. It's a big computer brain able to monitor all the household appliances to prevent domestic accidents. Computer, update. The situation is under control, sir. There are no circumstances that could jeopardize the bystander's safety or the correct operation of home devices. Well done, soldier. At ease. Computer, deactivate. Negative, sir. I can't disregard the duties for which I've been assembled, sir. Are you refusing to execute one of my orders, soldier? I'm sorry, sir. I can't do differently, sir. Computer, detailed work history. Two years, two months, and 21 days of duty, sir. Nine accidents, 24 household mishaps, five fires prevented, sir. And what about the time you almost killed the cat? You smoked some of the herbs in the living room, didn't you, soldier? I'm embarrassed for what happened, sir. Sorry again, sir. Computer, recall origin of service. I'm here due to a fire caused by the combustion of red-hot oil from a pan with some water. A mammoth blaze indeed, soldier. Four fire trucks, two ambulances, one FBI unit rushed in a matter of ten minutes, sir. And a team of doctors without borders, which, alarmed by the general mayhem, deemed fit to show its support. Computer, dismiss. When Ronald moved into this house, the forensic guys had just unsealed the kitchen. When the investigation was closed, his parents decided to leave the outline of the body on the table. I have to admit that it gives an extra kick to breakfast, though. I once tried to lay down there, a really uncomfortable position to die in. 
I'm not trying to justify your assassination, make no mistake, but who wouldn't be willing to kill for cherries? I found the solution to your problems, mainly because if I waited for him to solve it, I would have died another time first. What am I supposed to do? You just have to open your mouth and say, ah. Uh... Okay. I feel, I feel a great power in my hands. Wait a minute, I have hands! <laughs> Sounds more threatening already, right? How do you feel? Better than ever. I feel like I can break the whole world. <laughs> Just try to take it over, okay? Huh? Unfortunately, it seems we haven't made any progress regarding intelligence. What about the Swiffer? I don't know who this Swiffer is, but I will punch him to death! <laughs> this should be interesting. Now you seem to be covered in muscles and not by dust anymore. <laughs> I'll leave you to your evil plans. Man, what an epic fail. In my opinion, you're not so strong after all. What are you talking about? Don't you see I'm a beast? It doesn't seem that way to me. Test me then. Okay. In the room next door, there's a bed. I bet you won't be able to unscrew one of the knobs. It'll be child's play. Is this the knob? It's not a crystal ball, that's for sure. Uh, I don't get it. Yes, that's the one. It's up to me and you now, knob. Zeno has always been an introverted guy, but I consider him a dear friend. I rarely saw him not holding a novel. Never seen such a passion for books. Don't be afraid of the outside world, Zeno. I understand perfectly how you feel. It's a hard life for hitchhikers. I really have to ask you this. Looking for a lift to the Ninth Underworld? Backup is coming. Open your jaws. And no funny business. It's so liberating. Kind of like when I escaped from prison. 
I don't know if you're being serious or you're just spectacularly trolling. We'll never find out. Please, give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Okay, I think I can manage. Let's go. Disappeared in the night, an old Neptunian alien. A reward of 5,000 quid is offered for any information that leads us to his safe recovery. Call 00 Solar 8 554011. Peace and prosperity. The appeal of construction sites knows no interplanetary limits, it seems. Lost 38 special during a daring getaway by car. A sizable reward in cash and an annual free pizza at Pizzeria Luigi is being offered. If found, drop in and ask for Don Vito. An offer you can't refuse. I love pizza! It must be a slot machine gas station. I don't like games of chance. Some spaghetti, leftover chicken, a cereal box, and a couple empty liquor bottles. This one has it all! I think I'm living proof of how awfully wrong this all is. Um, living, so to speak. Took you long enough, hmm? And where did you pop up from? This van is a wreck. I got out through a hole hidden in the floor. Is there a way to get in from under there? Negative, dude. My head may be huge, but nowhere near like yours. How about taking a ride with me? All aboard! I have a new appreciation of the quality of life inside the wardrobe. Bugs, I need you to be done with these holes. You're ruining our lawn. Let's get a move on! Don't laze around! When we were at war, we dug the pits with our bare hands! Hey, that's a banana, not a hammer! And I fought for years in the Union for people like you! Back in my day, the screws were tightened clockwise. Sorry, sir. Can I bother you for a second? Don't you see? I'm really busy right now, boy. Are you blind? Tell me this is a joke. What are you doing exactly? I'm working. I'm like all those incompetent slackers. But you are blind. Not at all. I can see perfectly. I don't need anyone's help. Which number am I making with my fingers? Four. Okay, at least now we know we're not dealing with one more fake cripple. You really have strange taste when it comes to clothing. Brown and black are absolutely classic, boy. Timeless. But actually, you... You young people today don't understand a thing. Go back to your hipster flaps and pursue a living in bad taste. Your tenacity is very impressive. So, do you ever stop? We need someone who keeps everybody up. I can't afford to rest. It's hard work, but someone has to do it. 
And when, for example, you need to go to the toilet? I always carry my traveling catheter for emergencies. I really need to go. Well, uh, see you around, boy. Come on, let's get a move on. Don't laze around. State-of-the-art technology, no doubt about it. Where is my flying broomstick now? Look at them, with those little bloodthirsty killer eyes. Sure wouldn't want them to leave some memento on me. You've just defined a new standard for the word stupidity. Let's leave them to their intimacy. The supposedly well-guarded local prison never fails to make its citizens feel safe. I love these kitschy garden things. In other people's gardens, I'd prefer not dipping my toe into strange mating rituals. I don't feel like I'm ready. On the crowbar, there are two letters, G, F. Hmm. Oh, you finally did it then. When you use nice manners, you get everything you want, nut. For a moment, I assumed the worst. We need to celebrate. Take this. How the hell often do I have to tell you I'm allergic? It's a damned nut! Do you even have eyes in those sockets? Something stinks here. It wasn't me. I mean, where the hell did those two go? I'll get out. I have to check. Isn't it a bit late? Have you checked the time? Yeah, from that clock, boss. You can relax. I like lunch breaks. Too bad that pendulum has been stuck for years. Those two are still not coming. What are they doing now? I'm going back to take a look. Sorry, but I need you to return my chewing gum.
Are you kidding me? That's it. Now we'll do it the hard way. Better set up the timer to guarantee an escape route. The water is tickling me. I like it. Come on, let's get back to the van and get out of here. I don't like these kind of days. You're telling me, if I find out who pried my van open, ugh. Remember your heart condition, boss. You're right. Let's just think about delivering everything and forget today, okay? Are you ready for the new house? I haven't even thought about it, actually. I just want to talk to Ronald as soon as possible. Why all this rush? Sorry, but I wasn't paying any attention earlier. I was too busy with my nuts. Basically, according to otherworldly laws, the perpetrators of a blood sin will be condemned to eternal damnation when they die. But Ronald's was an accident. That doesn't change anything. It's irrelevant. The only way to prevent this from happening is to confess his crime to someone else. Within five years. And how much time does he have left exactly? Three days. And you're just thinking about it now? I didn't want to overwhelm him. I wanted to give him his space. I really have no words. Ugh, damn spoiled brats. Hey boy, is everything okay? Tell me, that fall cut out your tongue? N no sir Isn't it too early to wear your costume? It's only afternoon. Um, what? You probably hit your head too hard on the ground. It's Halloween today. Otherwise, why would you wear that stupid skeleton costume? Oh, uh, yes. Of, yes, of course. Uh, for Halloween, obviously. Bah. Try not to make too much trouble while you're still around. Capiche? Brats. Where the hell am I? Did someone throw my wardrobe in a dump? Okay, calm down. I know the address of Ronald's new house. The problem is getting the wardrobe over there. Hey boy, you finally woke up. You know you could have broken your neck. This is not a fun fair. How did I get here, precisely? How the hell am I supposed to know? Um, no, I meant, who brought that purple wardrobe here? Wardrobe? I thought it was a coffin. Two guys from a moving company with a white van full of old junk. Old junk? I need that wardrobe. I don't live in this waste for fun. If you want something, you must pay. But I have no money. How much do you want, exactly? Let's settle it this way. As an exception, if you pay the crane costs, you can take the wardrobe. What if I use the crane myself, without bothering you? And what if I use these boots to kick your ass? Thanks for helping me. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not interested at all in your health. I just wanted to be sure a dead brat doesn't get in my way. Then you shouldn't even be talking to me. Did you say something? Ah, forget it. Post-traumatic ramblings. 
I see you love black magic. Are you some sort of wizard? I don't like that tone. Black magic is neither shallow nor vapid. It's real art. Of course. I didn't think for a moment it wasn't. And do you ever wear the pointy hat with the little stars? <laughs> At the birthday parties. Well, aren't you tall, eh? My grandpa put steroids in my baby food when I was a kid. Okay, this time I really put my foot in my mouth. Hey, I meant what I said. I better go. See you around. Don't get into any more trouble. That shrill voice makes my skin crawl. I mean, my bones. Don't provoke me or I will even louder! No, 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 please be quiet. What's wrong with you? How would you feel if your roots were torn from the ground? Technically, I've had the life torn from my body, but I'm not making all this fuss like you. Damn it, Naughty Dog, would you finally start developing a new Crash Bandicoot? And no, remastered doesn't count. Budabaga! Bonaparte! Bodyguard! Yes, well... Your mother! You could've just said that in the first place. Dinsdale certainly has the best mascot in the world. Chompy Chompy on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Apart from you, obviously. I would have liked to see you deal with this Horcrux if it were an Okia 3310, my dear Porter. Seven books and eight movies didn't teach you anything? Waste, waste, and waste again. Hey, wait a minute. Seems Santa Claus came early this year. The real luck is that he was there to soften the fall. Cats never stop giving you good reasons to love them. Slenderman. Slenderman everywhere. I should really take it, just so I'd have something to leave on your windshield. It's incredible how many crazy things you can find in a dump. Only qualified personnel. It's practically begging me to take it. Unless those cold cuts were used as bait for pterodactyls, this setup makes no sense at all. <laughs> Yuck! Well, judging from the stink, it's obvious they've been here at least since the Jurassic. Having died because of a plum, dying again from a slice of bad salami seems like overkill to me. If its aim is to keep the intruders away, I'd say it's doing its job perfectly. King Kong smoking a pipe, sitting triumphantly over Godzilla, probably defeated single-handedly, and with a death note in his hands. The amount of epicness on this float is impossible to calculate. Ah, the Cynic. I've heard them before. At school, I was a dud even with the flute. Who knows what a ruckus I could make on the drums. Uh, better wait until it gets dark, when everyone will be in costume. All clear. Wow! An American party! I would have never expected to see Pinhead with heart-shaped boxers. Let's see. I could sing him a lullaby. Lullaby, lullaby, you. Who will I give this baby to? I'll give it to Santa Claus and he will drink it in his house. I'll give it to the old witch and she will fall into a ditch. 
Everyone knows she can't handle her drink. I'll give it to a complete fool and he will slip into the pool. I'll drink it with my stupid friend and all our money we will spend. Happy alcoholic dreams, little star. This is a great garden decoration, much better than the gnomes. If you dictate your epitaph to me, I'll think about the rest. It says birthday cake. I don't know what I expected, but I'm disappointed. Wait a minute. Since when do I speak Chinese? I hate ideograms. I suppose it's the first thing Chinese students learn to write. It was probably thrown by an amateur hitman with serious sight problems. Uh, excuse me? <clears throat> Mister? I don't want to bother you, but... Damn it, old man! I am talking to you! Your approach is ill-suited for a civil discussion between adults. You're right. I went too far. I forgive you. Don't you think you're a bit too old to live in a treehouse? Verily. I have dwelled here for 63 very long years. Oh, sorry. I had no idea. Be not ashamed, boy. I forgive you. How come you made this life choice? Modern society did not befit me. The decay of values, the rotten logic of capitalism, wars generated by the interests of politicians, the inept or mind-washed public. Yet I am sure mankind has learned from such foolhardy mistakes over the decades. You'd be surprised. Are you really sewing your beard? Incorrect, boy. I am knitting it. Why would you want to do something like that? I produce eco-clothing for important fashion brands. What about that story of how modern society doesn't suit you? When one's moral beliefs undermine personal interests, send them to hell. I don't understand this obsession you have with saying I forgive you. You must be a person of unsurpassed goodness. In truth, I am not, boy. When I was a mere lad, I was besought to play a priest for school theatre. People rushed from all the neighboring towns to grace us with their presence. Everything proceeded perfectly, and I felt the pride swell in my then tiny body, covered in a black robe. But alas, during the third act, the confessional collapsed upon me and hurt my head. People were greatly dismayed when they saw the little minister on the ground, senseless. I hung betwixt life and death for two whole days, and then I awoke. Ever since, I cannot resist uttering, I forgive you all the time. Uh, yes. Very interesting. I'm a terrible boy. Could you please forgive me? You are indeed, boy. It is not appropriate at all to make fun of an elderly man. And yet, I forgive you. Why do you meditate while knitting? Meditation is one of the key aspects of my life as a hermit. Tis useful to dissolve the tensions in one's head and concentrate on the inner self. But if I can do both things at once, better for me, do you not agree? I'll leave you to your extremely busy life. The door of my dwelling will always be open to you. Especially since you don't have a door. In Oriental mythology, the dragon is a symbol of balance and wisdom, but not even a talisman this size could make up for your stupidity. Unfortunately for me, 
Shenron, revive Krillin! Don't get smart with me. I didn't think you could talk. I'm a Suko Megami, a thousand-year-old object, so I've received a soul as a gift. A Tsuku... what? You can just call me Suko. Are you some sort of carousel karaoke or what? I'm a music box to be precise, passed down through generation to generation in the Chinese imperial family. It seems this tradition didn't last long after all. Well, I wouldn't say that, since the man on your right is the firstborn of the emperor. Can you sing me something? I know a song you might like. Um, I do not doubt your vocal skills, but actually I'm more of a metal guy. A death metal guy. Do I look like someone who could sing something like that with these clothes on? I have to go. Zaijin. What do you want? Why are you so angry? Upstairs is close, and we can't do hanky panky with my blondie girlfriend upstairs. Given the circumstances, I'll volunteer myself as interpreter. The room on the upper floor is closed, so my girlfriend and I can't find a place where we can have a little alone time. The second upstairs is redundant. How come the door is closed? That stupid Johnny Blonde is there with his brunette whore. That unintelligent blonde man Johnny has shut himself in the room with that morally loose, dark-haired girl. She must be quite famous around here. Bad story, yep. Listen, since you can't go up there, why don't you give me a hand getting a wardrobe from the dump? Bite me! Tasty refusal. What if I find a way to clear the room? Why not? I suppose in this case, I can accept. Okay, don't move and don't abuse that girl while I'm gone. I'm not drinking booze. Yeah, nice. No booze. I better go now. Twenty-eight days, six hours, forty-two minutes, twelve seconds. That is when the world will end. Sorry, were you calling me? Are you Donnie? My name's Skinny. <sighs> they told me the guy was a bit mad, but now I've had enough. I know it's none of my business, but can I ask why you're looking for him? <sighs> Are you Donnie? I already told you my name's Skinny. Then mind your own business. How can you be such a bastard? I can do anything I want, and so can you. Can you tell me what you keep saying? Nonsense I need to say to learn that crazy Donnie, he seems to love a good public rambling. Try using a mousetrap. You're not funny. Who said I'm trying to be? It's really fun around here. I think it's deadly boring, with extremely loud music, people dancing or getting hammered with beer. Jeez, very original, huh? What else is there to do around here, then? I'd personally prefer quieter places. If I were you, I'd go to Roswell Pond or the beach. I even saw a complete lunatic who said he invented a time machine. Do you believe in time travel? Um, I wouldn't know. I've never thought about it. It seems like nonsense to me. Why are you wearing that stupid bunny suit? Why are you wearing that stupid skeleton suit? Actually, I'm... <sighs> Forget it. See you later, Playboy Bunny. See you later, Lindsay Lohan. Good evening, how's it going? My name's Skinny. At last. Welcome, please. Come, sit. I suppose you haven't noticed there's only one chair, right? You see, you may have spent the last few years of your life looking for me, but I have spent my entire life looking for you. Actually, we just met. Not that I have any objections, but I don't think you'd be my type anyway. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. I thank you, decline your offer, and move on. What happened to your eyes? Nothing. 
I know why you're here, Skinny. I know what you've been doing. I know because I was once looking for the same thing. Mirror lenses, rimless sunglasses, limited edition. Why are you reciting the Trinity lines? The answer is out there, Skinny. They're incredibly cool. I don't see you having much fun. Do you really want to know why? Yes, I would like that very much. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Come on, cut it out and tell me. I forgot my pill. Pill? My blue pill. Ah. You should really try to relax a bit, if I may. Do you believe in fate, Skinny? Here we go again. No, I don't. Answering with something relevant for a change? Why don't you believe in fate, Skinny? I don't like the idea of being born just to be killed by a plum. And right at the beginning of puberty, by the way, without even having time to... experiment, so to speak. What are you doing around here? It's not important. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. Please, go pick up some girl like all the normal people. You'll see, you won't think about it anymore. I can't. Oh, right, the thing with the blue pill again. Now I've really got to go, before I go mad as well. And we'll be screwed if at least one of us doesn't remain sane around here, right? A storm is coming. That hair would turn even Amy Winehouse pale. The last person I saw at the bottom of a bottle like this was Ronald's <laughs> father during Christmas dinner with all the relatives. Why do you drink all that tea? I only sleep 14 minutes a day, which leaves me a lot of time to work. Egon, tell him about the Twinkie. It's gone. It fell into the tea while I was dipping it. I mean the big one. That's classified information. You know that. You should really stop drinking for the night, before all this caffeine pushes me beyond the capacity for rational thought, too. I have nothing so important to ask to interrupt him. After all, I stopped believing in him a long time ago. I didn't know he was a Sauron adept as well. <laughs> it's strange Tolkien never mentioned him in any of his books. It's been slung directly into the oven. Eventually, you end up like sweet and sour pork. A historical video gaming relic. Literally. How many bad grades you cost me. I'm not hungry, thanks. If you want, I can suggest a nice AA meeting center. Watch the ceiling fan. Actually, with that costume, he looks more like a bellhop. Hey, kid. <laughs> Try your luck at the mechanical fish ride. Playing is simple. You must reel in any of the fish in the tank. Nothing easier, right? Now I remember why I hated going to the fair. The fishing rod is clearly rigged. He's lucky that alcohol induces sleep. I remembered her different. First of all, dead. I remind you that the single time she spoke, she burned up an entire lab. Still sure you want to talk to her? <laughs> Check this out. We have guests. Let me welcome you to my little gloomy abode. For you, author of this video game, from now on, you can count on my unconditional hate. Nice to meet you. My pleasure, believe me. <laughs>
And now even the last of my secret fears is coming alive. <laughs> Come closer. I can't hear you from there. Um, I just remembered. I have an urgent meeting to attend. I have to go. Boogie, let's hypothetically accept that I get closer to the shadow. Yes? Well, should... should I be afraid for my safety? Not at all. I will gladly take care of your soul. <laughs> Thanks for reassuring me. A faithful reproduction of the Rebellion flag in Metal Slug. I can't stand this. Too many memories. Absolutely not. Among us nerds, there's a code of honor. It's so grim and wonderful that I could stay here staring at it for hours. What does the label say? A, B, normal? I invite you to do the same. From time to time, at least. I finally found something to give you for your next birthday. Twenty-eight days, six hours, forty... Two minutes, twelve seconds. That is when... Courtesy of Don Vito Corleone. If I weren't an expert on special effects, I'd swear it was real. Peter Jackson's got nothing on you. A storm is coming. <laughs> cut it out. I One cut wasn't enough come, for you? Come closer. Touche. That tie on the doorknob may as well be heavier than Thor's hammer. The universal ah, frat house quiet, do not disturb or my husband sign. will hear us. Always faithful to my sweatshirt. I may have removed the tie from the doorknob, but the me, fact of the matter stuff. doesn't change. Mm. Express Courier, 24 hours, 7 days a week. 00845890. All packages must be impact proof, water repellent, and the contents must be clearly indicated outside the box. Hmm. I could pack up the wardrobe and ship myself to Ronald's new house. What nice, sharp fangs! Okay, that is definitely not a good idea. Listen, friend, in this video game, there isn't room for two skeletons. Don't say a word, or I'll make you regret being dead, okay? Good boy. Cracker. Cracker. Come on, stupid bird, repeat it. Cracker! You brainless moron biped, my intellectual capacities are way superior to yours. What? What did you say? What? Cracker! <gasps> Can I come in? Be quiet, Go away! Or my husband will hear us. Ronald gets mad when I knock on the door while he's in the bath, too. I don't know why everyone got so crabby. Cuddle me, hot st Damn, I'm out again. Sometimes you positively surprise me with your sadistic attitude. Be quiet, or my husband will hear us! What Cuddle are you me, hot stuff. Rawr. 28 days, 6 hours. Earth's 42 minutes, 12 seconds. Hey, two! Do you know what's round, soft, and juicy? 
A tomato? No, stupid. A nice child. How many times have I got to tell you? I'm done eating children. I'm a fruitarian now. And what the hell does that mean? I only feed on fruit, and just the ones that fall from trees to the ground. You won't last more than a week. You'll see. You're really the black sheep of our family. So many possible spoilers, I wouldn't even know where to start. Ah, love, captured forever in undying memory. At least until they cut down the tree. Dude, don't be sad. Actually, I get your life choice perfectly. Really? I eat only children, too. Just the ones that fall into my mouth. He's undoubtedly the life of the party. It's always a pleasure to see you. Now I understand what the media meant when they predicted an alleged alien invasion back in the 80s. Two, do you want to hear some news that will make you happy? I'm drinking juice. Guess what flavor it is, too? Grapefruit? Child. Uh, can I have some of that, too? <laughs> they undoubtedly get along very well. It's best not to get involved in certain private business. Is this your time machine? Yes, but it is still an experimental prototype. The usual excuse is to say it doesn't work. It'll work. Just watch and see. And finally, everybody will stop saying that I'm just a c -c crazy stutterer anemic guy. But you're not anemic. That's what I c keep saying myself. What are those blood stains you have on you? Oh, not a big deal. A little accident while I was working on a d d different project. How many did you kill till now? D don't be silly. I conduct experiments on d dead bodies. Dead bodies that were alive before, by any chance? If there's really shortage of raw material, those t two. You seem to be pretty eager. What are you waiting for? I ordered a new carburetor online. The old one was d damaged during my previous attempt. And it still hasn't arrived yet. They'll get an earful from me at the c customer service of thatcrazyscience.com. You can really find everything on the internet these days. You c can't even imagine. P people are really out of their minds. I'll come back later. See you then. Just because we're in an adventure game, that doesn't mean you get to bother whoever's around. Your usual Charlie Brown. If that is meant to be the Red Sea, someone must have hugely exaggerated the storytelling. I prefer not to risk finding a snake under my sweater. It's surely more fun to do it with tomato soup. I... I really don't know what to say. It's a child's dream coming true! I wouldn't really know where to start. Better avoid problems. Who exactly are you? I'm Pad, the wicked conscience of this little, miserable man. He kept me dormant inside him for years without listening to me. But you know, when you insist on suppressing every frustration, you're inevitably destined to blow up sooner or later. And so now, I am in charge! <laughs>
Why does he have those wounds on his back? Soul possession brings some, well, some severely violent consequences with it. Let's just say that whoever suffers from it momentarily loses his senses and in the end turns to self-harm. And in case he survives, his mind comes under my control, as you must have noticed by now. What are you guys doing? We happen to have a scam underway. A big scam. I couldn't... Mm, we couldn't stand our demeaning and not at all gratifying job as office workers anymore. So he spent... Um, I mean, we spent all our savings to buy this cave that we accidentally dated back to the Neolithic, complete with cave paintings. You're really an evil mastermind, no doubt about it. You mean we are really evil. The cave painting idea might be set aside. What do you mean? Look for yourself to my right. I'll be darned. This will be worth a lot of money. Neolithic my foot. Come on, let's go. We've got work to do. old man you needn't shout like that you're right excuse me I forgive you listen could you maybe sew some of this hair on the head of this doll an unusual request but I perceive no reason not to indulge you give it to me Too kind. Twenty eight days, six hours. He really got me, so credit to him. Ooh. You're having fun, eh? Tyler didn't want me in the way, so he closed me in here. I had to do something to fill all this time. Tyler? My older brother. He's the guy who arranged the party. I was bored, so I thought it would be fun to scare anyone who walked into the storage room by mistake. If I was in your shoes, I would have done much worse. Where did those come from? They're the posters for a Horror Billy concert that will be held tonight at the Old Cemetery. My brother didn't want any interference for his party, so he tore down as many as he could. The whole neighborhood was practically wallpapered with them. With your permission, I'll take it, Boogie. Go ahead. You earned it. Ronald and I love to watch their black and white movies. It's a single epitaph subdivided onto the two gravestones. It's chilly down here! Not even death made them lose their sense of humor. lighting system activated. What 
ugly mugs. Speak for yourself. Did I just imagine it, or did that head say something? Nothing at all. Very good. For a moment, I thought I'd gone mad. How can you expect me to talk to some heads in brine? They must have uttered their last words a long time ago now. Too bad that doesn't apply to you, too. All this pointing and clicking stresses me out. I should absolutely take a vacation sooner or later. I have the vague impression that someone here lost their inspiration. I didn't know how to name him. Am I right? You didn't know how to name what? You. It's your name. No, I have no name. Maybe it's precisely because your parents didn't know how to name you. Hmm, perhaps. So I'm right. That's your name. I already told you it's not my name. You should get yourself in shape again. Why do you say that? Maybe because you can't even get out of your burial plot? I just put myself on a diet. I haven't touched a pizza in weeks. Only because he devoured the Aram Boy too last time. What happened to your arm? I was too hungry, and I bit it. It must have really hurt. But it was good. I'm assuming you're a cannibal, then. I make no distinction when there's food involved. You don't mean to try to eat me too, right? If they were all like you, I'd have starved to death by now. Actually, you're right. I'm going out for a walk. Maybe you can join me later, okay? Good evening. Hi, pretty bones. What happened to your head? My dear, I'm a zombie. I'm decomposing. Yes, I read the hotspot label, but it was hard to believe. Oh, sweetie pie, you're making me blush. But then again, it's normal to cause confusion when you're lucky enough to putrefy in such a sublime way. I could even be envious. So, you like brains, right? Of course, pretty bones. I love brains. But only the male ones, if you know what I mean. Only too well. Nice dress. I wore it on the day of my wedding. I guess it's a memory you really care about. Obviously, considering it's the same day I committed suicide. Forgive me, I didn't know. Cyanide, for the record. She was incredibly beautiful, but she wasn't exactly my type. I suppose it wasn't about the color of her hair. And I couldn't stand that she had smoother skin than mine. I just couldn't wrap my brain around it. What are you doing locked in here? This was the crypt of my family once, so I was buried here. A long time ago, it seems. Exactly how old are you? Don't be rude, darling. It's not polite to ask a zombie his age. I humbly apologize. You smell really good. Oh, honey, slow down with the advance. Don't be so shameless. I use a mix of bubble bath and body butter. They're really great. Anyway, I must say that for a little bone like you, you smell good too. I really have to go now. Come back and visit me sometime, little star. Chapter 1. Witchcraft. How to curse your mother-in-law and live happily. Capture a wild animal to associate with the victim. 80% of readers pick a toad or a snake. Wait for midnight and the moonlight to baptize the animal with her name. Free your mother... I mean, the animal. In open country, your beloved acquired mummy will thus lose the power of speech. Remove the earplugs and enjoy the new silence. Achtung! Unfortunately, the above-mentioned witchcraft is not effective on wives and husbands. Chapter 2 Seances, how to satisfy your edible complex even if your mother left you. Sit around a table with other people who want to communicate with your dead mother. Therefore, avoid inviting your wife. Light up a wax candle in the center of the table. Create a circle, holding hands or touching with the pinkies. At this point, close your eyes and evoke the dead towards you. Some dead people don't like to talk, so prepare an alternative medium like a pen or a typewriter. Octung. 
Always remember to avoid antagonizing the dead if you want to communicate with her once again, but mostly avoid antagonizing your wife. Chapter 3 Voodoo Practices How to Get Revenge on the School Bullies While Keeping Your Distance Recover some hair or nail samples from the concerned bully and attach it to a doll. Then place a voodoo doll in the center of a pentacle. Close your eyes and channel your hate on the bully. Imagining him with his head in the toilet increases the chance of success. If the ritual is successful, the doll will assume the features of the designated victim. Grab a needle or some pins to stick into the voodoo doll. Enjoy your revenge. Aktung. Don't damage the doll by removing its limbs or head. Keep out of reach of children. Chapter 4. Love Potions. How to get out of the friend zone and overcome restraining orders. Acquire a photo of your future love. You shouldn't have problems after so many years of stalking. Dip some rose petals and cloves in a water and red wine solution. Bring the mixture to a boil. After cooling, drink the love potion you just completed. Wait comfortably at home for his or her arrival. Aktung. Always remember to take proper precautions. Okay, one of the fallen angels, but this one seems to have made a loud thump. I can gladly do without the holiness. It's not for me. A statue in the city graveyard is the right tribute to one of the heroes of my video gaming childhood. I would have never imagined we'd have so much in common one day. Although I was lucky enough not to lose my jaw. It's really curious how many genius hunches are just the result of more or less serious head injuries. They come up with all kinds of excuses to mask their hoarseness. At the very least, it can't be said he lacks self-deprecation. Hey guys, can I have some of your firecrackers? Ask your mother to buy you some. And get out of our way, can't you see we're busy? But that's grandma. Uh, Ronald's grandma, I mean. Hi grandma, I'm... I'm Ronald. Uh, Grandma, I can't really understand what you're saying. Damn my age. Ronald, Grandma, sweetheart, you came to see me? You're so emaciated. Are you eating enough? I do eat, but the weight ends up only on my butt. You have the same body structure as your father. That do nothing. Grandma, didn't you have yourself cremated? Do you really think I'd let them lock me up in a vase? I corrupted the grave digger by telling him to fill the urn with chewing gum. I noticed that. Your favorites. Anything for my little Ronnie. It'd really be too much for her. What is Grandpa doing over there? He's been trying to get out of his coffin for days now. Except every time he forgets to watch his head. Well, at least he leaves you alone. It's about time. It wasn't enough for him to torture me when I was alive. I didn't even have time to die before he felt compelled to do the same. I'll come back and visit you very soon, Grandma. Here lies Wilson Percival Higgisbury, exceptional scientist who fatally wounded himself with a razor blade. Here rests Woody the Lumberjack, asphyxiated after inhaling some silver powder. Here Wilbur the Monkey King is buried, dead on the spot having slipped on a banana peel. Here Willow the Arsonist found her eternal peace, dead for the joy of a great fireworks show. I had no idea they had followers in the arachnid world as well. Wait a minute, Ronald. It's dangerous out there. It's full of atheists. Take this. Oh, <laughs>
On the house. You can never say no to a drink. Yes, good boy, drink. Don't look at me that way, I had no other choice. Look at him, he's sleeping like an angel. A few hours of sleep won't be bad for him. He was too stressed. Okay, negative thoughts. Nothing easier, all because of how easily I can project my complete hate of other people. Well, one of the few advantages of my skeletal form is that I'm unaffected by electric shocks. This is shaping up to be very fruitful fishing, finally. <laughs> I can't believe you did it. I am a real pro. What can you do? Why don't you take a look at your pockets? How on earth did you do it? When you spend your life escaping from the IRS, you can't survive without uh, certain tricks. And how did you end up running a carousel? Social services. Anyway, for that coupon, you can collect a prize of your choice at the gypsy kiosk just outside the city. Oh, I almost forgot. Be careful going around with that other little bag I gave you. Oh god, what other little bag? <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. You're not funny at all. What is it, postmodern art? Nah, yeah, you're right. I really can't come up with nothing interesting. Like what? Well, bro, I don't know. Something that conveys strong emotion, gets people's attention. Something that grabs you, but original once in a while. Tired of riding a cab on the monuments, yo. You hear me, bro? I'll think about it. Maybe I'll have a good idea. Sweet. Sorry to bother you, but you seem familiar. You probably saw me in a game show in the past. You know, I was a pro gamer once. Judging by how you're doing now, it seems something went wrong. Carpal tunnel. I slowly lost mobility and reactivity. It cut me out of the pro circuit. I imagine more like an arrow in the wrist or something like that. Arrow in the wrist? Never played Skyrim? Sorry, just beat em ups. Then you suffer the proper punishment.
I doubt the Ego people will ever stop to thank the Duffer Brothers. I wonder how much they've earned thanks to Stranger Things. If I were you, I'd let it go. That little girl becomes a really dangerous cookie when she gets mad. Negative. I'd become a victim of their fury, inevitably. And I still care to keep both my hands. What do you think I am? Exactly like these things are really supposed to happen. I did my part hours ago. No more leap of faith for today. In this video game, some phrases are a bit too literal. Um, hello? What's with a concerned face? You never saw a puppet before? Sure, but not one handled with invisible strings by a headless puppeteer. And able to speak, by the way. Do you have a problem with me not being controlled by strings? Well, n no. And maybe it's illegal for a puppet to have a nice voice like mine? Th that's not what I meant. You women are really impossible. I want a coupon at the carousel. Choose your favorite prize. Anything? Anything. I'd like a cartridge of the E.T. video game for the Atari. Hmm. I gave out the last one just yesterday. No harm done. It's the worst game in history. But you're in luck. I can give you this. Let's have a look. How is it possible that all this stuff could fit inside such a small package? Let's just hope this is the right time. I like to be hugged. I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend till the end. Wanna play? Sorry, Charles, but you can't just add me to your collection. The perks of being already dead. He's even scarier life-sized. I'm only required to wear the Mickey Mouse ears, as per my contractual obligation. Am I right, developers? Gross! Gross! What are you doing hiding down there? How do I put this? I may have gotten myself in serious trouble. Who exactly is looking for you? This room is a continuous coming and going of couples. Actually? Everyone. Let's just say that I've screwed up a bit too much recently. You have all my respect. I was joking. My time has not yet come. Cool your jets. What do you want? The bedroom on the upper floor is empty now, as promised. Really? I'm calling my gang now. Be still, her. Take the guys and go to the dump. Don't waste my time! I don't care what you do now! It's all fixed! Go now! Hanky Panky Room is ready! Wow, they couldn't control themselves any longer.
This is a cool track. I've never heard it. Too bad I don't know the title. It's all ready. We can get started. Where do you want us to take it? Friday Avenue, number 13. Do you have any idea how far that is from here? We're heading to the party. The best we can do is take it over there. I'll settle for that. Do you hear that? Let's move. Too lazy to wrap a noose around your neck? That bridge is too far from home? The suicide booth is your solution. Select the type of death among the available options. Slow and agonizing, fast and painless, clumsy. I don't think there's anything clumsier than choking unexpectedly because of an allergy to plums. I think I'll suggest installing one of these near your house. You never know when the urge to end it all might hit you. It seems that part has finally arrived. Is everything working now? The c courier took a little convincing, but in return, the c carburetor was p perfect. I absolutely offer myself as a guinea pig to test it then. Really? Have you got any idea of the p possible side effects? Time p paradoxes, inability to come back. Risk of incest with his own mother. P possible annihilation, c chromosome mutations. I can go on for hours. Let's say I've got nothing to lose. It's okay by me then. There's only one p problem. I've finished all the p plutonium. And it'll be a c couple of days until my trusted d dealer can find some new stock. So you'll have to wait. I'll come back. Maybe this might be interesting for you? W where did you find that? Here and there. Okay, okay. Pour in exactly the three milliliters for every d dozen years you want to go back. Add another t two milliliters to run the machine and one milliliter every half hour of real t time utilization. Be as p precise as possible. Okay, no problem. The m machine will start as soon as you have inserted the d destination date in the appropriate d display. Avoid t traveling into the future. The process p partly uses the geomagnetic field of the Earth and p possible changes could stop you from c coming back. Just remember, you c can't jump from t time to time, every time you're forced to return to the present. Will you be much longer? The d doors are automatic, so stay in the vicinity. Some animals could enter the machine and c come back instead of you by accident. And remember to be c careful to never interfere with the space-time continuum. Yeah, yeah, whatever. How much plutonium did he say I have to pour exactly? Mmm... Well, I'll abound. What's the worst that could happen? Jumanji, a game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind. 
Surely life in the wardrobe ain't easy, but it's better than living in the jungle. I'm almost tempted to leave the first roll of the dice to you. It's still a five or eight you're hoping for, isn't it, Robin? Inside, there are just apple seeds, but if you really want them... Good God! Who goes there, prithee? My name is Manny. Manny Calavera. Yeah, I mean, I am the Grim Reaper. I didn't want to scare you, Mr. Manet. Your reputation precedes you, you know. Well, you flatter me. But now, enough with the pleasantries. That's not why I'm here. I guess my time has come. Correct. But not entirely accurate. I could give you a second chance. Anything. But spare my life. I beg you. Add me to your painting, then. In the sea, possibly large and highly visible. But that's a preposterous demand. It would be completely disproportionate. Not to mention that it would absolutely ruin the scene's pathos. Do I take that as a no, then? Forgive me, Grim Reaper. You'll have your wish. I think I see something that glitters in the net. Serves me right. Next time I'd better mind my own business. smell. You must absolutely take a bath. Grab this. Firecrackers or your life? <laughs> Do you think you can scare someone dressed like that? Not even a fly. Now that I notice, I've never seen a more ridiculous Halloween costume. Really awful. <laughs> I'm afraid I will just have to come up with something else. Nowadays, our generation is too desensitized by TV and video games. Thanks a lot, HBO. Grandma, two kids are out here making fun of me. Is someone being mean to my little Ronnie? Brats! Don't worry, honey. Now Grandma will take care of them. <laughs> you should have seen their faces. Not bad. Now you really have an aggressive look. I have to admit it, I'm really pumped for it. Do you think you can sing a metal song now? Which one do you want to hear? I, I don't know the name of it, but do you know a song that goes like this? Oh yes, I get it. I love that song. Are you ready? <laughs> This time, I really messed up big time. To 
Do you need some more bubble bath by any chance? I have a bottle of it here with me. Be quiet, or my okay, husband will hear us. You can lay it down on the bubble bath shelf. What are you doing locked in here? I'm enjoying some well-earned rest. I work as a security guard at the city museum, so situations like this don't come around that often. Luckily, Ralph, my cousin, hates Halloween and offered a cover for me. A security guard for the museum is really necessary on Halloween night? That's what I told the union. But do you think they listen? Anyway, take this. To repay the favor of the bubble bath. It's a bit wet. I don't even want to know where you kept it. The museum is closed to the public, but you can enter with this pass if you find yourself in that area. If you go, let me know if that midget has everything under control. The best way to attract likes on social networks. Maybe you're used to this, but certain self-gratifying practices are not my thing. And here I thought you were the only one with such a low IQ. I am pleased to note that you're intent on proving your superior stupidity. Oh no, I've seen what happens in jail. It wouldn't be a bad idea, but first I have more urgent things to think about. The revenge of millions of goldfish ruthlessly flushed down the toilet. Why don't you sit on it? You're having a lot of fun in there, right, little one? Only thing missing was the poser dinosaurs. Except defeat, Rex. You can never compete in a race with the Velociraptors. Not a bad neck warmer at all. I doubt you'd be able to cling to a big head like mine. Expect something like this inside my next gift bag. Why would I need a face hugger when I've already got you perpetually breathing down my neck? Winter is coming. Isn't it a bit dishonorable for a knight to keep a shawl on its shoulders? Do you have any idea how cold it is in this tin box? I'm almost a thousand years old now. I must think about how to protect my bones too. Isn't it time that you retire after all these years? I'd like that. Believe me, I'd like that very much. But unfortunately, the Duke has never paid for my honored services. I never knew David Bowie recruited knights. I'm not talking about the thin white Duke, but about the black Duke. Ah, I see. What do you want? Do you like being a night watchman? I'm filling in for my cousin, just for tonight. Yes, he told me. So you probably know I accepted because I hate Halloween. It gets on my nerves. What kind of childhood trauma did you suffer to have such an aversion? Once a guy slammed a gigantic pumpkin right on my head. It took four days before doctors could get me out of it. Maybe that chair is a bit too high for you. And to think it was the smallest one I could lay my hands on. I suppose you needed a ladder to sit on it. At least I can easily get to the console this way. Your cousin wanted to know if it was all okay here. Yeah, right. I have so many unruly visitors to keep at bay. What is he afraid of? The Anubis statues will come back to life? What about that heart rate monitor? I'm a heart patient. I need it to check my pulse. Maybe if you didn't drink so much coffee... That's easy for you to say. Night shifts here are deadly boring. Small, chubby, and a heart patient. Is there anything else? Your sarcasm leaves me completely indifferent. You have the reigning national champion of the insult contest in front of you, in case you didn't know. Nobody and nothing can beat my sharp tongue. Show me then. Your Netflix subscription has been hacked. Ugh, I'd rather prefer to be whacked. 
In my excitement of Star Wars The Phantom Menace, I couldn't stay in my seat. Ugh, oh, my asthma! I can't breathe! From the look of things, the pumpkin shape on your skull is still visible. Ugh, oh, the pain it causes me to talk of that fruit makes me miserable! Perhaps your heart has been pierced by Cupid's arrow. It certainly cannot be said she doesn't know how to sit on that throne. You look like you're waiting for someone. I'm waiting for one of my countless suitors to get the nerve to come forward. What would keep them from doing it? Exactly what I've been asking myself. I'm afraid everybody is too scared of my beauty. The burden of being so beautiful, yes. What should this mythical Prince Charming be like? For centuries now, I've been waiting. We queens too have certain needs to satisfy. I just want to find a good mummy to spend the rest of infinity with. That shouldn't be so difficult after all. Don't rub it in. What happened to the pharaoh? The servants found him dead, poisoned by the bite of a snake. I remember I was so angry with him. Not that the two things were connected, obviously. Of course, of course. I have a dilemma. <laughs> Don't you think you're too young? Um, what? You can't be more than 15. Well, it's true that my beauty transcends age after all. Actually, I, did, I didn't want to hit on you. Do you think I'm not attractive enough? No, absolutely, you are. I didn't mean to. You better. I'll leave you to your undertakings, my queen. I have a letter from Mr... What a sweet little wrapped fluffy. Yes, I think I'll accept his proposal. Let's just skip the small talk in the engagement ring. I have no time to waste. Did you bring the wedding rings? I have the wedding rings with me, my queen. What are you standing there for? Find us a priest to perform our wedding ceremony. Actually, I think I've already done more than enough. It's an order! We're having the ceremony over at the meteor at the Roswell Lake. What a romantic place. Now go. I have to get ready. Does it look like I wear a Stars and Stripes costume? In contrast to popular belief, the Vikings weren't just a wild and savage people. Besides being great explorers and naval engineers, Vikings were gifted in jewelry and in the art of commerce. Furthermore, the women were more liberated and independent compared to their European counterparts. Vikings really cared about their personal care. They had a sauna once a week. They removed unwanted hair and used iron sticks to clean their ears. There were no ranks or grades. The commander was the captain of the ship. Warriors could either be common citizens or professionals. Among these combatants were the Berserkers, warriors sworn to the supreme god of war, Odin. Legend told that they were invulnerable. It is believed they consumed a specific drug made by alcohol, jalapeno, and the green secretion of the evil egg, one of the most lethal mushrooms in the wild. Different from other populations, the Egyptians were perhaps the best known among historic civilizations. To avoid being redundant, we'll examine some of their false myths to offer some clarity. Tutankhamun, one of the most famous Egyptian pharaohs, actually reigned only 10 years and died at the age of 18. What made him famous is the myth of the curse linked to desecrating his grave. Lord Carnarvon, financier of his expedition, died one year before the discovery of King Tut's grave. While actually, the average lifespan of Carter and all the other archaeologists was around 70 years. Also fake is the myth about the construction of pyramids. They were not
not built by slaves, but by paid workers. Since there was no currency, workers were paid with barter, especially bread and beer. Fantastic people, aren't they? When I was young, I always dreamed of having one of these all of my own. And I still dream it now that there's one in front of me. Though the plant kingdom can seem harmless, there's an incredible variety of ways it could lead to your demise. In the Renaissance era, Belladonna was used by ladies as eye drops to give a certain shine to their eyes. But its berries are potentially lethal. The oleander, one of the most common flowering plant species in the Mediterranean area, is poisonous enough to be avoided instinctively by the whole plant kingdom. Beware the classic health axiom of an apple a day. The seeds, if ingested in large quantities, can actually cause death. In short, if you're vegetarian or vegan, your days are numbered. Eat meat. Though, come to think of it, meat causes cancer. You all die. The reasons leading to the outbreak of the Second World War are various and complex. The conflict lasted for six years, from 1939 to 1945. The parties involved and battlegrounds fought were numerous too. After all, they called it a world war for a good reason. Therefore, what we propose today is a brief, intense, and pragmatic summary of the entire conflict. <sighs> Funny. I got a D in history in junior high, so go easy on me. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. No, right? It's a trap! First of all, we extract the gunpowder. And now... Hey, honey, look what I have for you. You didn't think for a moment that someone might hear the bang of the explosion and call the police? days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That is when the world will end. Can you turn the music up full volume? A storm is coming. I'm here. Come. Come closer. Thirty seconds should be enough.
Maybe I overdid it with the gunpowder. Listen, son of God, since you're one of the creator's superstars, I was wondering if you could preside over the wedding of a friend of mine. Well, actually, I'm the owner of that massive <laughs> franchise of chapels, churches, and cathedrals. Who better than me, right? I'm just a little too drunk. I could use a very small bit of help, but not from above, because if my father sees me in this condition, I'll have to wait millennia for the next coming. A uh, short review on... I now pronounce you happily ever after. <laughs> now you can kiss the bride, but discreetly. That kind of thing. Could this help? Oh, just what I needed. We'll see you at the wedding then. But you don't even know where the wedding is. Brother, I may be wasted, but I'm still omniscient after all. See you later. By the power vested in me by my father, I now pronounce you man and wife. And now, come back home to update your relationship status on Facebook. Done. Why the sad face? Everyone my own age has bouncy and long hair. What about me? I practically lost mine. Losing your hair in the 80s is just about the worst thing that could happen. Hello, Hippie Express Courier. How can I help you? Good evening. I'd like to arrange the delivery of a casket to number 13 Friday Avenue. Expenditures are charged to the consignee. Are you aware of the packaging regulations of our service? Tell me. To avoid damage during transportation, we ask you to wrap the object with a material that can soften impact. Usually it's plastic or bubble wrap, but you can use any solution you prefer. Yes, that's no problem. 
We also ask that the outer casing of the package is absolutely water resistant. It might seem a strange demand, but in the past, our drivers have shown a certain fondness for water courses in this area. I'm equipped for that too. And finally, it is necessary to identify the package with a written note clearly indicating its contents. Yes, Alex, I have the solution. Sorry, I don't think I heard correctly. Oh, I, I mean, no problem. I'll authorize a courier for your delivery. Thanks for calling us. Goodbye. I'm waiting for a courier to take the wardrobe away. Could you maybe pack me inside using this kit? I have to create a nice prank. Dude, I'm always ready to help out with these kind of things. I wish I could see his face. I can't imagine what a fright he will have. Neither can I, believe me. Ronald? Ronald, wake up! Ronald, it's me, Skinny. Do you really not recognize me? Remember? Me and you were going to conquer the world. We kept on saying that we were meant to do great things. Well, in a way, I guess that happened, but nobody could have imagined all this. You couldn't know about my allergy. Even I wasn't aware of it. Ultimately, there are a lot of perks to being dead. I have an infinite amount of free time, and I can eat everything I want without being worried about my weight. I'm even immune to electricity. Like I'm a superhero. I'm sorry you suffered so much. I know how tough things have been for you since that day. You have nothing to blame yourself for, believe me. I have nothing to blame you for. I couldn't breathe. I just heard you screaming. It wasn't difficult to understand what was going on, but incredibly, that was the last thing I remember. No light to follow, no extracorporeal experience, just a big nothing. Disappointing, don't you think? When I finally woke up, all was dark. It took me a while to realize I was in a wardrobe, in this wardrobe. I know, it's really absurd, but it's the truth. I've been brought back to life, and now I'm a skeleton. You have to go back to talking. If you don't tell somebody about what happened that day, you'll end up being damned for eternity. That's why I'm here. Because I love you, Ronald. Skinny. Skinny, wait! Don't go!
This party really died. Ah yes, I almost forgot. You're dead. Wake up, Neo. The Matrix has you. Follow the White Rabbit. I certainly don't need it. And by that, I mean I have no problems with my libido. Days, six hours, 42 minutes. I have something with me that will make you very happy. What is it? Red Pill. You take a trip to Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I'm not completely convinced. It's strawberry flavor. What does the rest matter? Ah, you're right. Give it to me. I think I'm still tripping. He was right anyway. Strawberry flavor. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Ashcliff Hospital. You gave me a bleeding fright. Did you come to see me? Actually, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh, nobody comes here to visit me. Always just the patients. Don't nobody ask for poor Amber. Do you know why I'm called Amber? I don't care. It's for the color of my hair. Compelling. <sighs> Were you looking for me? Not at all. I can tell you about my day if you want. It's very interesting. Actually, I'm trying to attract the attention of those three guys in there, but it seems they can't hear me. You 
only think about the patients. What did I ever do to you? Nothing, in fact. I just want to talk with them. All right. Fine. Farewell. Guys, there's Skinny. Hey. Hola. Do you know my name? Skinny, I created you. You think I don't know your name? Where are we exactly? I welcome you to our new studio. We've all gone mad during development of the game. Too much stress and too much work to do. Especially with Francesco as project leader. I have a bad temper. I know. What do you mean you created me? Skinny, come on. You know very well you were inside a video game. What did you think you are? A love child of two pieces of code in C-sharp? I've redesigned you thousands and thousands of times, really. <laughs> By golly. What else are you developing now? Just consider this moment a sort of strange temporal anomaly. We're still working on the wardrobe, even if the game has actually been released for a while. You wouldn't happen to be working on a sequel in secret, right? No! Okay, okay, there's no reason to get heated up. Since you're my creators, I have a couple requests. We're listening. I've always dreamt of having superpowers. What if I was able to fly? No way, too many game design problems. A bionic arm? It would clash with the anatomy of your character. A Hawaiian shirt instead of this sweatshirt? Handling your static poses and animations would become way too difficult. And what about... Halt. Sorry, but you have only been given three wishes. But wishes run out only after they've been granted. Sure, but I'm not the genie of the lamp. Why have I been brought back to life? It's not my place to say. Let the player figure it out by himself. How can I leave this place? You just need to keep your eyes shut long enough. And always remember that nobody can see past their own choices. Are you telling me I'm the master of my own destiny? Hell no. You're in a damned adventure game. Twenty-eight days, six hours, forty-two minutes, twelve seconds. That is when the world will end.